Those who are familiar with resin printing will know exactly what's coming up next. Those who are not, if this is going to be your first printer, I want to show you how to go ahead and clean this. Um, this is going to be the Mingda Goldfish. And cleanup's going to be relatively easy. We're just going to use some 90% or better rubbing alcohol. And right there. And we want to make sure we get inside of all these crevices right here on the edge of the build area. That's where resin likes to collect. If you had a good print and it came off nice and cleanly, this is a cake part because there should be nothing here but this resin. Now, make sure you go ahead and get your fingers up the side of the vat as well because you don't want any resin left up there. And then we're just going to... I got a waste bottle where I have been pouring all my waste and I'm just going to pour that alcohol back out. All right. Now, here's where there's a huge debate. You could use microfiber to go ahead and clean this off. I'm going to be a heathen and use paper towels. And just you're just very lightly dabbing, letting that out, absorbing that extra alcohol. Don't want to press too hard. Now, microfiber will scratch your FEP film less. Uh, I treat FEP film as a consumable anyway, so I'm going to replace it. I'm not going to worry about the cleaning material as much. And this will just get screwed back on to the build area right here. Next thing is your build plate itself. Now, this paper towel that I just used to wipe up that alcohol, I'm gonna go ahead and use that to wipe up the excess resin off the top and across the build area. Now, when you're build, dealing with a removable build plate like this, try not to put any pressure between here and here, because this is where your uh, leveling happens. So if I were to crank on this this way, I would mess up my leveling and I have to get that restarted. With that being said though, the Minga printer makes that easy. All right, now I'm going to take a fresh paper towel, get some alcohol on here, and I'm just going to wipe this area clean. Again, you shouldn't have to scrub, you shouldn't have to really lay into this. This is just to get the excess resin off. And then we're going to put this build plate back on its carrier. Right like so. Tighten this nut down, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And Put the cover back on. 